Okay, well, rounding off today, we're now on 12 volts. I know I've got good output from the alternator and I've got it connected into the power box, which I've fitted there. And obviously I've got a 12 volt battery on it, 12 volt coil, 12 volt tail lamp. I've got a brake switch in position, but I haven't got it wired in yet. That'll be uh, one of tomorrow's jobs. Um, we've got a 12 volt bulb in the headlamp with uh, dip, and full beam, and what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to set things up. I also need to put some sort of ignition switch in. I'm going to connect these two wires in a moment and it should be ready to start and hopefully we'll see it running and charging I hope. So uh, I'll just put the camera down here and uh, we'll give it a go, see what we got. to be charging hopefully. I've partially tidied these wires up and I've got this pair here ready for connecting up to a horn when I get one on the bike and I've got the I know that there's power well obviously uh, one of these wires has got power in it the other one comes from this button here on the dip switch which earths the other wire and that should make the horn beep. I've tested it with a test lamp and when I press the button it lights the lamp so uh, I think we're good to go and like I say I've got power going in to the newly fitted brake switch hopefully once I've got this wire here connected up to the brake light we'll have a brake light as well so uh, we're almost done and then subject to a little bit of tidying up and taping up and whatever we'll have a 12 volt sports cub which charges nicely and uh, will be not far off ready to go and uh, be legal on the road once I get the paperwork sorted so uh, it's been a big uh, shot in the arm all this lot today I've also got two fuses in here on the live side I've got one fuse from the battery live out to the wiring loom and I've got another fuse uh, on the live side of the power box going into the battery so uh, hopefully I'm well covered against uh, any electrical mishaps or shorts or anything but there shouldn't really be any because it's all uh, 
wired up nicely now and uh, I still haven't I've only got three wires coming back from the headlamp to this area here and uh, I think I've got everything that I need uh, I can always run an extra wire or two if I feel the need to if I want to put a lamp in the speedometer or anything like that but other than that I'm gonna have everything I need stop light tail light headlamp with dip and full beam and uh, like I say these wires will make a horn work so I think that's pretty much everything I need and uh, that's all come together quite well actually so uh, nice place to be to round the day off and uh, once they're tidied up and taped up and everything there won't be too many wires hanging around or well shouldn't really see much if any of it at all by the time I'm finished and uh, we'll be ready to go.